Hey guys, many of you may be considering the DJI goggles, but a much cheaper alternative, at least to try out, is using the Litchi app, which has a VR mode, and getting inexpensive VR goggles. Altogether, that setup, if you didn't have the app, you didn't have the goggles, gonna run about $35. Alright? Now it's not nearly the same experience as far as image quality, and it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but still just a great way to try it out. And if you don't already have the Litchi app, the cost of the Litchi app is well worth it too, in it by itself, not just for the VR mode, but the waypoints, mission mode, and a lot of other features. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works, how to set it up, and how it flies. Here we go. So before you fly in the VR mode, you want to customize some of your button settings on your remote controller. One of the settings is toggling in and out of the VR mode. Another setting is toggling into the immersive mode. And the third setting you want to program is for the joystick mode. There's not too many other settings that you could program. Those three are the most important. For adjustment of the VR settings, you'll need to be in the FPV mode. Click on the VR icon shown on the top right. Click on the gear icon shown on the bottom left to see the display that you're seeing now. For the on-screen display, you could choose to have that on and off. The on-screen depth, you could adjust that. The gimbal head tracking, for starters, you'll want to have that off but uh, you could turn that on and off that adjusts the up and down movement of the camera. The gimbal speed it ranges between 1 and 3 2 should be fine. You do need to be up in the air to adjust the aircraft head tracking. For the hookup of your VR goggles you'll want to have a long cable between your remote controller and your display device. Go ahead and launch Make sure you're in a safe hovering position before you actually try out your goggles. Then go ahead and take your display device and mount it into the bracket, being sure that it's centered left and right in the mount. Go ahead and place it into the goggles. Go ahead and click on the button to switch to the VR mode. And then wear your goggles. Now normally you won't have the VR settings that you're seeing now, but I just have this up on the screen for this how-to video. I'm in the immersive mode right now, and as you can see that the drone turns left or right proportional to the angle in which you turn your head. In the joystick mode, just like a joystick on your remote controller, when you hold it to the right, it continues to turn to the right. Same thing with the goggles. In preparing to land, you do want to take off your goggles so it's much safer to control and land your drone. Although I didn't show it here, you do want to exit the VR mode prior to landing because the drone braking is significantly reduced. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please like it. Would appreciate that. Got a lot of other videos I've already made for the Mavic and I got a lot more coming up, so please subscribe if you like. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye.